Well, it didn't go well last time, but I'm sure that this time it'll go completely perfect. Hello everyone, welcome to Regrowth. This is the final Thawncraft quest. Yep, that's right. The way the world feels is all done. I built the Gate of the Void Walkers with this ancient pedestals and the redirection focus, not the randomization focus. Oh, gives me two more freaking primordial pearls? Yes, please. Anyway, if I just a boop and a boop and a boop, what this thing will do is it will turn the sinister node and these four ancient eldritch eyes into a whole entirely new randomly generated Eldritch Dimension Maze. So in other words, I don't need to walk 500 blocks away from our portal over there and perform the ritual in order to get a new maze and therefore a new Primordial Pearl. I can just do it anytime from this little altar setup. Of course, it does require a new Sinister Node each time, and I believe that it's going to actually consume this node. Oh, this is this is more shocky shocky than than I expected. Is it actually completed or does it require more V? I'm not sure how much V it requires. Oh, there it goes. Yep. See? Once it completed, it actually destroyed the multi-block. But I can complete it again by uh, putting four eyes on these four pedestals and finding a new node. After, of course, I complete the maze, and that will get rid of the portal. It's a single-use portal. And actually, yeah, watch this. You notice that I have my my marker blaster, and I have the Mirror of Noms with me, because as soon as I jump in... As, as soon as I... Hello? Ah. <laughs> Yeah, this is the Eldritch Dimension, all right, but, um, oh boy, I am stuck in the Eldritch Dimension, and I mean I am stuck. It will not open the portal out until I find and defeat the boss, so you have to be prepared if you're going to use the Gate of the Void Walkers, and remember, like, I think as soon as I jumped into that portal on that side, it closed. So if I die and I lose my gear, it's gone for good. Cannot retrieve it. Yep. Very dangerous, but a very convenient way to farm primordial pearls. Well, that didn't turn out to be too bad. I estimate I was wandering the maze for about mm, 45 minutes. Here we go. Oh, a giant tentacle. These are actually... Oh, man. Yeah. Tentacles are an enemy that appears in Tainted Lands, and this is a giant variation that's spined to boot. They are perfectly harmless so long as you're not touching the ground, but the moment you do touch the ground... Yep. And what's more, those tentacles are spreading taint. That is a feature of the giant one, not the... The regular ones can only... They can only um, attack you when you're standing on taint, but these giant ones can attack you anywhere, and it spreads. Oh yeah, and they can, of course, whack you in the face. Let's see here. Yep. No problem. Look how fast he regens. Not fast enough, though. And, of course, now that they're all dead, all the little extra ones will die. Oh, This is a really... This is, in my opinion, the worst of the tainted monsters. A taint spore spawner. Yeah, if I give it enough time, it'll eventually generate a swarm of bees that chases you down and is almost impossible to hit. And they're tough, too. Uh, yep, yep. 
And they always contain one when you kill them. Look at this thing. Yeah. In, uh, in Tainted Land, those things are formed when taint takes over a chunk of wood. Forms into this crusted taint, and eventually that forms into the, into the taint swarm. So if the Tainted Land takes over a forest, you're frickin' screwed. And this tainted soil is what happens to normal dirt. Doesn't pick up well with a, with a shovel. Does turn into regular dirt, though, once you pick it up. Yep, see, the crusted taint is already starting to turn. Anyway, now that I've done all this... Oh, and hey, look at that. Tainted blood shard. Neat. It's just... Hmm. Let's just dump out all that. I've cleared the boss. The portal out should be open. So... generates an obelisk for it. And once I jump through, we're back home, and you see the sinister node is gone, the pedestal is reset, I can perform the whole ritual again. So that is how the Gate of the Void Walkers works. So, now that we have a source of primordial pearls, what kind of thing can we finally start doing it with them? Well, for start, how about the last and greatest blood orb, the Eldritch Blood Orb. This thing, just on its baseline, stores a full 80 million blood. Oh yeah. Jeez, this is taking a while. Ooh. And look at that, actually. It, it gave me the Primordial Pearl back. I didn't know it did that. I've never made this thing before. Oh, it's ominous looking. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So. Once I do this, we should see how much bigger it is. The dupe. And. The dupe. Hmm? Huh. Maybe I need to. No. Well, I, I guess the the vanilla blood magic bar over there only goes up to, like, however big Archmages are. <laughs> oh, well. Of course, new orbs to play with isn't the only thing I want to do with Primordial Pearls. I have here some blood-infused wood. That's just oak wood, and yes, it has to be oak wood. Run through the blood altar. And I'm making this blood-infused stick. Now what am I going to do with this stick? Well, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to make this Wand of Summoning. Yeah. That is the first of our Millinaire quests. I'm starting these right now because, from what I can tell, Millinaire looks like it's going to be one of those hurry-up-and-wait type situations, where it's going to be something that... You poke at, and then you wait, you poke at, then you wait. So, to make it, I'm going to need Japanese, Indian, Mayan, and Normandy scrolls. These are normally gotten through doing stuff with, with Millinaire, but you can also make them out of knowledge fragments. And from the Eldritch Dimension, we have quite a lot of knowledge fragments. Yes! With this staff, I can create a millionaire village. And that also should be, yes. 
So, once you've got the summoning staff, you're going to need a relatively large, flattish area, much of the wasteland is perfectly fine, and a gold block placed on a block of dirt. It doesn't recognize obsidian. You will then get to choose what type of village... Okay, so I am going to go and I am going to find a place for me to make my very first village. Just going to bring along some gold, some dirt. I'm going to bring along a world anchor because I've seen millionaire worlds sometimes fail for some reason. Like they bug out if they aren't chunk loaded. And of course, one, two, three, four. It's just some stacks of ender pearls. Hopper to keep the world anchor fed. And of course, I'm also going to need a chunk loaded in order to use these teleposers for easy access. Yes, I have expanded the line of teleposers over here in anticipation of this. So first off, a dupe. And now I'm just going to go and find a good convenient place to put a city. Okay, here we are out on the plains in a suspiciously flat place that absolutely is not the result of a half an hour of me sculpting the landscape. We have our Wand of Summoning. Let's give it a try. Hmm. You need to either... Okay. It's asking me to choose a, a thing, I guess. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh. I imagine that these are like different flavors of village for each of these civilizations. But I don't know what any of these words mean. Eh. Okay, agricole, agricole, abatial, industru. Industru sounds promising. Oh boy. Uh, it just kind of uprooted the teleposer, didn't it? Oh boy. You are enthusiastic about that, sir. Well, this is, um, interesting. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, that's certainly... I mean, it's all very pretty, but it kind of didn't work with the landscape, did it? And I went out of my way for it, too. So, I think that how this works is, like... You... What the frick? Your status, stranger. We are wary of strangers around here, newcomer, but deal fairly with us and you will find people here hospitable. Possible housing, uh, reputation with the villagers, the, the, okay, uh, ah, selling to the player. So she, uh, I see, we buy wood, 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 cobblestone, stone, glass, uh, Timber, iron, wool, bookshelves. Okay. They sell all this garbage. Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to have to run back to the base real quick, get another chunk loader and teleposer. But hopefully now that the village is built, I can put the teleporter in a place that won't be, like, destroyed. Because from what I understand... You, you, like, you give stuff to villages, and you help them grow, and they constantly build and stuff. So I, I like, I need, I need to find a safe place for it. So, um, they appear to be upgrading from dirt to wood. And, uh, yeah. 
they speak proto French apparently. She she keeps saying she'll be right here, but she never comes. She's busy doing other stuff. As far as I can tell, she's the trader person. But she's stuck like delivering resources and doing other such things. Maybe I'll just try waiting here for her. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. She's off to chat. Hmm. Let's try relogging. Well, at least she's not spamming herself. Ah, here she is. Okay. Okay. That was that was nice. So, um Ah, oh, okay. So I get these deniers by selling stuff to them. Huh. Oh. And I believe that should have been flat. Yeah. And that appears to kind of be how Millionaire works, is you sell stuff to them, and they have on the wall here the things that they need for, for their projects that they want to do. And the more you sell them, and the more of those miscellaneous quests that we saw, one that didn't tell us what it was, the more of those quests and the more of the stuff we do for them, the more they will upgrade the town, and the more quests you'll get, and the more resources you'll get, and eventually you can, like, tell the village, like, what to build and stuff, I think. I don't know. Claims you cannot eat one more mouthful of da-da-da. You look well-traveled. Hmm... Maybe what he needs is some good old-fashioned beef. Let's try that. Yeah, let's get some raw beef, some steak, and it looked like they really wanted bookcases. So let's get like a stack of book... <clears throat> a stack of bookcases. Hmm... Oh, you know what else might be good for a sick child is some milk. Yeah. <laughs> Just love how that thing dumps all the buckets on the cow. Okay, so, got some proper non-French food. Got some... Milk, got some saleables. Let's see if the village likes that. No, I still do not have the goods needed. So maybe it needs a potion or something. Hmm. Well, steak sells. Anyway. Hmm. So this... Bursa deniers. Apparently that will keep all of my deniers in one place. Hmm. Powerless pearl? Oh yeah, I've seen that in witching gadgets before. That is... Okay, a lot of witching gadgets recipes call for for primordial pearls, and um, instead of consuming it, it turns it into these powerless pearls that you can then re-empower with a special ritual. So I kind of have a way of buying primordial pearls here if I get my reputation high enough. 
That's neat. So they said they wanted glass for their next project, whatever it is. Well, I can give them glass. Let's put all that away. What else would be good for a sick child? Uh, potion of regeneration, I guess. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe potion of instant health. Mm. No, that probably wouldn't be it because it's for magical crops. Okay, maybe it's something in Millinaire. Yeah, it could be one of these food items from the various villages. And she did kind of hint that he wouldn't eat. So maybe I need to bring him, like, some lamb chops or something. Oh yeah, and the villagers do not like it being nighttime. So I need to sleep in order to get them going around. Mute de butcherer. That sounds like a butchery shop. Ah, guest house. Lacking resources. Glass. Yeah, it's kind of just like... Okay. Frank Thorstein, her kid is called. Hi, Frank. Can you tell me what you want to eat? My god, look at him. He's like, I could eat him. You heard nothing! So apparently this guild leader guy allows me to buy some houses? Well, like, I can buy the Petite Maison. Okay. Ah, and that's how I order the construction of a building. I gotcha. And look at this person go. Okay. Oh. I think you're supposed to, like, the language is supposed to demystify itself as you get friendlier and friendlier with the villagers. Yeah. Mmm, look at this. I understand that you have searched throughout the lands for help with discovering the secrets of this world. You should have come to me instead. I have the honor of knowing the greatest mind alive today, the alchemist Guillaume Vif Argent, whose reputation is second to none among those of us that are schooled in philosophy. It is him you should go to. Will I accept? His workshop is set up in mountainous areas where he studies the rocks and the stars. Hmm. And apparently I have improved my reputation by selling them boatloads of crap. And also I'm starting to see, like, half French, half English. So mountainous areas, eh? Well, I imagine that by him giving me that quest, it just generated... It, it, it like, searched for the closest possible place and then I must have put the broom away. Yeah. 
So let's look around for this alchemist guy. So now that I've ground rip a little bit, I can buy the village scroll. Okay. I've got a village scroll now. I don't know what it does. But hey. It it was a quest. And apparently I can put coins in my purse by just right-clicking it like that. So, by, by supplying them, the villagers have been gradually not only building new buildings, but also upgrading old ones. Looks like they've built a quarry, and this guy is pretty bad at digging. But he is gradually producing smooth stone and glass, apparently. And that goes into their supply chest. So, like, eventually I could make the village entirely self-sustaining and upgrading, I guess. Yeah, I haven't found that alchemist. I searched around for, like, half an hour. I think that maybe, because of the weird world gen, that quest is just broke. Yeah. And apparently I need to grind more rep or do a really exceptional quest, which is probably that alchemist thing, to become leader of the village. And I don't know what that would do. So it looks like I need more than one type of village in order to get all the goods out of the Normans. So I went a little bit of a distance away, not too far, but, you know, a little bit. And let's try... Let's see here. Hmm. Artisans, maybe? No. How about... Agricole. Agriculture, probably. I'm not sure what the difference between a village and a hamo is, but... If it's, if it's hamlet and village, maybe village will be bigger? Yeah. Boosh. And I've learned my lesson this time. I'm not going to put the world anchor anywhere on the ground. I'm just going to... boost up into the air a little bit. Yeah. That should do the trick. Okay. 